Okay, so we just arrived at the Steam Dev Days and uh, we're going to check out the first keynote. And as you can see, it's going to be a lot about VR. So if you look at the back, they've got like five booths all across the entire hallway. Uh, that's not entirely true, but there are a lot of them. And uh, let's see what it's all about. Come with us. Do the move. So we just took our seats and the seats are really good. Like nice there's even a table in front of it. Yeah, let's get started. Get excited. Let's get it started. Oh, no. Please welcome Greg Coomer from Valve. <laughs> Do that work and, uh, with each other so that everybody can get that kind of value out of being here. And once we got those developer tools in place, things got quite a bit better. Uh, and this is much what the Steam world looks like right now. What started out with us dropping tracking on the Steam controller turned into the Mr. Hat controller that went out by the thousands of five decades. Now, as being used in the automotive industry, for example, you know, I kind of look at all these applications as non-fiction gaming. Yeah. devices, and there's so many ways to do things, and was this button just pressed, and then what, what's happening, and then I have to write a configuration system, and... That is nine Osram Platinum Dragon LEDs. Uh, they're infrared, so they didn't look like much, maybe a little pink dot if you saw them, but these are the kind of LEDs where one makes a lot, one of those ultra-bright flashlights that you can barely bear to look into. So, of course, we use nine. <laughs> so, we just tried out the new VR prototype input by Vel. Yeah. And it seems like it's competing with Oculus Touch. It was really good. Really small form factor. Uh, yeah. Currently only you were able to grasp. Yeah, so the, they re replaced the trigger input for uh, a, a grip uh, input. And the fun thing was, uh, there was no button or anything. And it, even though... A capacitive touch, uh, the guy told us. Okay, but it was analog. So you could close your hands and then all of a sudden it slowly would uh, go towards the controller and it was a really weird sensation. I was really um, Yeah, it was magical Yeah, and how it works is you you put it on and you strap it like on your wrist. Yeah, and The good thing the, the unique selling point of this thing is uh, you can really open your hand without letting go of the device You can actually uh, actually throw things. Yeah, and, and let go of the device hand. and it will stay on your uh, really palm. Yeah. yeah. And also I tried like breaking, uh, like uh, occluding the tracking. Uh, it did work in the end, but I have to say it was, it, it stayed focused like Yeah, it was really like difficult 90%. to break it. Yeah. I was impressed. Yeah, I was impressed as well. And uh, I hope that maybe uh, they show another thing tomorrow, but we'll see. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Until and um, next time. Until tomorrow.